Hi, have you seen the news lately? Oh, look at this! Scientist Herald Superconductor Breakthrough claims LK99 material opens a new era for humankind. Look at this, scientists claim they found the holy grail of superconductors, a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure uh, called LK99. Oh, it's all happening! The LK99 superconductor would be a leap forward uh, for computing and our understanding of material science. Whoa! Everyone's talking about it. This would be an absolute game changer. Some South Korean uh, researchers have presented this new film. They presented this new uh, paper and they've demoed this new material that is not only room temperature, but it actually goes up to like almost 100 degrees uh, Celsius or more. Like, so complete ambient temperature uh, range. Superconductor, just listening to an impressive talk of the co-authors of the room temperature superconductor LK99 at Korea University. One of the greatest, uh, great experiences of the this conference they presented this material. It's gone viral. It's everywhere. Everyone's talking about it. This, uh, yeah, sure, it'd be a huge game changer. It'd... <laughs> It had changed civilization as we know it. If we had a uh, ambient temperature and ambient pressure superconductor, we'd have zero transmission loss power lines. We'd uh, be able to have levitating uh, tr trains for transport and all sorts of things with, with no loss of the material because superconductors have zero resistance, of course. So have they cracked it? Let's take a look. So it comes from the Quantum Energy Research uh, Center in South Korea. This is like a legit organization who researches, uh, you know, quantum stuff. This isn't some crackpot thing, right? This is a mainstream quantum uh, research center and they claim to have cracked it and they've got video evidence of it. So do you think they've really cracked it or do you go, <laughs> what's that? What's that I can smell? Hmm, well, let's check it out because I think we can at least bust part of this wide open, this video here. <laughs> it's an embarrassment. Stick around. Anyway, first in the world to develop normal temperature and normal pressure superconductor, developing core technologies based on this, blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, lots of big uh, partners here. And uh, this is their LK99. It's a material uh, they've got. And apparently it uses like just common stuff. We'll have a look at it in a minute, but I'm not going to go into the material uh, physics of it. That's not my uh, field. But anyway, one atmospheric pressure, normal temperature, uh, cost of use. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't need any cooling at all, uh, of course. So uh, raw materials, it uses the universal elements. Um, and apparently it's relatively easy for any lab to actually manufacture and reproduce this, but I believe they've got like a patent on it. So anyway, here's the uh, data, the assay data, as they uh, call it. Zero resistance. Okay. Okay, critical temperature, and here is here's the money shot right here, right in Kelvin, none of that Celsius rubbish, right? About three hundred. Look, it's like incredibly. It's not it's not absolute zero resistance, but it's right. It's right down there, like two to the times ten to the power of minus four. So it looks like we're not actually talking zero resistance here. We're talking like this is um, here we go ohms per uh, square centimeter. So this is uh, resistive uh, density two times 10 to the power of minus four. I'm going to eyeball that and say that's about half. Um, that's about 50 micro ohms, right? Uh, per uh, square centimeter, which is really low, right? And then it, it jumps up, right? At 370 uh, Kelvin here, it jumps up and it's no longer uh, a superconductor, uh, basically. It loses, but 370 Kelvin is like 96 degrees. Um, it's basically like, you know, from z like right up to 100 degrees Celsius, it is um, superconductor. The, the test currents are only like 50, 70 milliamps uh, here. So, you know, it's not big energy stuff yet. But hey, you know, this would genuinely be a big deal if it's true. So they do claim like a resistance loss of zero. So I'm not sure what the deal is. So here's their uh, various patents uh, that they got. And yeah, this is a commercial. They want to commercialize this. So this is, I guess, what the research center set up to commercialize. Uh, superconductor technology, I guess. But fortunately, this time, journalists are actually kind of doing their job. It, it, here it is. Like, this is in Scientific American. It leaves many scientists uh, skeptical. Researchers say they have discovered, uh, but many scientists are unconvinced. New scientists here, room temperature superconductor breakthrough, met with skepticism. Creating material that perfectly conducts electricity at room temperature and pressure would be a big deal, but a research team's claims of creating one has attracted more scrutiny than Optimism from scientists look with suspicion on another study of room temperature semiconductors. So if your initial thought was, yeah, nah, there's something wrong with this because really, like, 
you've just got to look at it from a point of view. It's the same thing with new battery technology. You hear it all the time. This latest battery technology is going to be a game changer. It's an order of magnitude difference, and it always turns out, nah, right? They've done this little thing in the lab, and it's it's not scalable. It's not, you know, it, it's not the real deal, right? They can't uh, manufacture it. They can't commercialize it, whatever. They always fall flat, these order of magnitude claims, right? And we're talking basically that here. I, suddenly, we've gone from, uh, you know, super-cooled uh, semiconductors, which are very useful in lots of applications, suddenly, oh, not only is it room temperature, but it's like up to 100 degrees Celsius, and it uses common like stuff, apparently, like just you know, off the shelf uh, stuff. Apparently anyone can make this thing, right? So you, right off the bat, you've got to go, really, really, you know, I, like, yeah, nah. And people get so excited. Today might have seen the biggest physics discovery of my lifetime. I don't think people fully grasp the implications of an ambient temperature pressure superconductor. Here's how it could totally change our lives. And yeah, a lot of people are gushing over, but rightfully, a lot of scientists um, is, is probably nonsense, right? The latest mega breakthrough room temperature superconductor is probably nonsense. Anyway, enough of that, right? I will link in uh, the papers down below. So they go into all sorts of stuff in here, and I won't go over the material physics because that is not uh, my area okay but here's the chemicals that they're actually using it and it uh, they've got it into like a little powdered um form and, and you can see here they've got a little uh, piece of it and it seems to be hovering over the uh, permanent magnet here which of course shows the uh, meisner effect of the superconducting uh, material. And you've all seen those uh, experiments of the superconductors. You put it, it's sitting flat on a permanent magnet, then you pour the liquid nitrogen on it. Once it gets below the uh, critical uh, superconductor uh, thing, it, it expulses the magnetic field uh, from the material and whoop, it, it, it just floats, right? And, and this is one of the uh, game changing things. Not only zero resistance would absolutely change everything in terms of like power distribution and stuff like that, but uh, these sorts of effects would, um, you know, we could have have like hoverboards, hover trains, we can have everything. And yes, I know what everyone's asking, uh, what is Thunderfoot's uh, take on this? I didn't actually get this uh, from the paper, but uh, Thunderfoot reckons um, actually even if the room temperature superconductor is verified, it won't be, he claims, um, it's almost completely irrelevant and will have no effect on anything because it's a ceramic. So apparently when you put these um, substances together, it becomes a ceramic, which makes, you know, how are you going to make wires out of that? Well, once again, like, yeah, that's not game changing for power distribution and winding transformers and doing all the other um, stuff that we need to do for that aspect of it. But it still might be useful. It, you know, there still might be something to it. But anyway, that's uh, Thunderfoot's take. I'm not sure if he's going to do a video on it, but there you go. Yeah, so they tell you exactly how to make it with some copper and lead and stuff, right? So it apparently uses, like, regular materials. So I'm sure right now all teams around the world are just trying to replicate this uh, to actually see what it's really about. But anyway, I'm going to bust this video right open. This is the main page of their website. Here's their big banner video. Let's watch it. Okay. They've, they've, they've got the material here and they've put it on a, a, a thing and look, right. And it's at room temperature. You don't have to cool it down, right? This looks legit. <laughs> Except this is the most embarrassing video I've ever seen. I can't believe they even published this. I'm going to do exactly the same thing in my lab right now. Why is it embarrassing and what's the trick? Well, they don't tell you here, but if you actually go to the actual YouTube video over here, and by the way, they've turned off uh, comments. Of course they have. Uh, it's got 58 thumbs down. I'm going to give it another thumbs down and you'll see why in a minute. This is their official uh, website. And as it turns out, uh, their channel doesn't actually have any content. So that's an unlisted uh, video. <laughs> I wonder why. And this video uh, was recorded on January 26, 2023. But here's the kicker, and here's why this is incredibly embarrassing. I can't believe they put this video up. This was put up as their banner video for the Quantum Center Research Group, who are claiming this is a demonstration. The sample was thermally deposited on a copper plate. A copper plate. We have a moving magnet. We have a piece of copper plate which they've uh, put their LK99 material on, right? It's, it's coated with their LK99 material. Yeah, uh, lenses law, anyone? When you have a moving magnetic field on a conductor, like a copper plate, it generates a magnetic field, which then uh, repulses the magnet. That's why it's moving. Oh, you've all 
all seen these sorts of demos of Lenz's Law, right? Where you take a copper tube and you take an iron ball, right? And, and it just drops, right? It just drops straight through. But if you do the same thing with a magnet, look how long it takes to drop out. There you go. Because, of course, the magnet's moving through the copper and that creates a magnetic uh, field in the copper. And then that magnetic field repulses the uh, magnet and it slows it down like that. It's not magic. It's, it's just physics. So I'm going to reproduce their big experiment they've got on their main page here. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, LK99 material, but I've got the next best thing. I've got Agent 99 material, and I've got a uh, copper clad PCB, one ounce copper, 35 micron thickness. I unfortunately can't find my huge uh, neodymium magnet. I've got the next best thing. I've got a uh, neodymium magnet from a uh, hard drive, and uh, I've got it just suspended here via some string and let's give it a go. Will our copper clad PCB move? Let's try it. Whoa, 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 look at that. Look at that. It moves and well, if we keep it there, it'll stay still. We can move it. Can we move it in and out? I'm not touching that. It's not touching. But look, look at this. I can make this sucker dance. Come on. <laughs> it's just Lenz's Law. Copper. <laughs> Of course it's going to do this. It's a copper sheet. How could a quantum superconducting research center put up as their main demonstration video on their main page for their new room temperature superconductor material groundbreaking? It's going to change the entire world and use a copper sheet. Oh my goodness, it's the copper that's causing it to move. The changing magnetic field in the copper is, is causing the currents. In the, in the copper, which then uh, repel the magnet. And we can make that sucker dance. How embarrassing. Why would you put your whiz-bang LK99 humanity changing material onto a copper sheet? Oh. So if they make such an embarrassing mistake like that, um, <laughs> come on. Like, you can't trust anything else they do. That is, like, this is physics 101. Let's do that a bit closer. Whoa, look, look, dance, dance. <laughs> Seriously? Come on. Of course it's going to do this. It's copper. So after seeing the most embarrassing mistake you could possibly make, there's no way you can take anything else in here seriously. Look, that doesn't mean though that there's not some legitimate research here and it could, you know, lead in other directions and do other things, right? I'm not just, but when you see that, Right, on their main page. And they've made such an embarrassing mistake like that. Uh, yeah, no. No. Sorry. They were hoping to win their Nobel Prize, but it looks like they missed it by that much. Anyway, I hope you found that video useful and interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, you can discuss on the EV Vlog Forum and in the comments on this video down below. Catch you next time. <laughs>